Let's play a game. It's like that silly screw, marry, kill game that you've probably seen or played at some point. Except a whole lot better, because this is the motorcycle version. Round one, practice round. It goes like this. I'll give you three different motorcycles. For example, a Yamaha MT-09, a KTM 1290 Super Duke R, and a Yamaha R1. And you have to decide which one of those bikes you would just take for a ride, which one you would personally own and live with, and which one you would crash and destroy. For example, personally, I would ride the Super Duke because there's no experience quite like it with that much torque. Own the R1, luckily, because I actually do, and crash the MT-09. It gets difficult because you really don't want to destroy an MT-09, but sometimes it's the tough decisions that get you further in life. This has been an idea of mine for quite some time. And since it's been raining here for the past week and I can't actually film the video that I had planned, I thought I should finally put this video into action. So I'm going to propose five more rounds of ride own crash with bikes that I've either owned or ridden. And then I'm going to give you my response to each round. However, since YouTube is so bad for interactive options and you guys couldn't click the screen to make your choices, if you are interested, leave your vital life decisions down in the comments looking something like this. Round two. The small bike round, consisting of the Honda CBR125R, the Yamaha R3, and the Aprilia SR150 scooter. Sadly, I would start with crashing the Aprilia. It's not personal, I just think the other two have more to offer. Riding the CBR125 would bring back all the fun memories of my first road bike. However, the R3 would have to be the best bike here to live with. And I really want one as a track bike. Round three, the super sport round with all the Japanese 600s I've ridden. The Suzuki GSX-R600, the Yamaha R6, and the Honda CBR600 RR, and maybe a few more R's. The R6 is 100% the best marriage material here. It's got the looks and finesse every bike needs, and as good as the Jixa is, it would have to be thrown down the road. Because the CBR is such a smooth bike to ride, However, that's only enjoyable for a single ride. Round four, the touring round with a three-wheeled curveball in the form of the Yamaha Nikon, Ducati Multistrada 1260S, and the Yamaha Tracer 700. The three-wheeled creature might not be your first choice, but I think it's probably more difficult to crash. And it's one of the most incredible machines to ride. It's really stable and smooth and would require a long ride because it's hard to get off of. Ultimately, the little tracer would get its fairing scratch, despite how much I enjoyed it, because the Multistrada would be a joy to live with, and I still miss having it around to this day. You knew this was coming round five, the R1 round, an R1 from almost every era, with the 2000 Yamaha R1, the 2013 Yamaha R1, and the 2016 Yamaha R1. These are real life conundrums right here. However, you'd be lucky to ride any one of them. But I'd have to ride the 2013 because it's the most dramatic. Own the 2016 because it's like a 2013 R6 and R1 had a baby, and crash the 2000 because fuel injection was invented for a reason. The final round is round six, the random round, with the Triumph Speed Twin, Yamaha R6, and Yamaha MT-09. Riding the MT-09 gets you hooked on torque and brings out your inner hooligan. 
but is definitely worth it. The Triumph should be just as addictive with its 1200 twin, but somewhere along the line it just isn't that exciting and has to end this video scratching its hipster accents and leaving a trail of sparks behind it. And if you could put a ring on it, the R6 is the perfect bike to own. But anyway, I'm sure you have plenty of bike combinations in mind, so leave those down in the comments below. And don't forget to leave your answers to which bike you would ride, own or crash. Share this video with a friend you could play this game with, and I'll see you on the next ride.